What's going on everybody? As always, it's a blessing to be here and welcome to UL Exchange. If you guys are new to this channel, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification because I upload information packed videos every single day like the one you're watching right now. By that being said guys, without no further ado, before we even get into the video, let's just say that I am not your financial advisor. I'm just here putting out great content for you guys to see at. I present you with the truth and the facts you, the person behind the screen, yes, you, watching this video and watching me make the final decision. By that being said, guys, today's video, we will be speaking about Ripple XRP, the BRICS alliance, the Russian ruble backed by gold, and the Algeria and Egypt trying to join the BRICS nation. And Egypt, little spoiler alert, just joined the BRICS nation, by the way, guys. So we have a lot to discuss today. Let's just get straight into the video. So, as you guys can see this article, which nations have been buying up gold? I would like to know, wouldn't you want to know? I would love to know which nations have been buying up gold because that means a lot of things. Number one being, are they backing their currency or their country currency by gold? Very, very interesting take on this. Let's just get started. Oh, you see it now, you see it now. Hands up, hands up. Number one is Russia. Let's read it. Let's read it. And there's a little surprise as well before we go a little bit down. I want to make sure we read this first though. So Russia has been among the top buyers of gold in the last 10 years, pushing its gold reserve from 882.96 tons at the end of 2011 to 2,301.64 tons at the end of 2021. And that's 10 years complete. And I have a chart for you guys so we can track the Russian uh, country buying up gold and we can see how far they have come and why are they rushing to buy so much gold. Continuing on in the past five years alone, Russia has added 683.31 tons. Before we even move on, let's look at this topic. How much is one ton of gold? Looking at the Google results, approximately one ton of gold or one ounce is around $2,000. And we can see one ounce comparative to what the gold price is at. XAUUSD, that's a ticker symbol for gold. So one ton of gold is worth approximately six for $64.3 million, one ton. And pay attention to this guys. They have been buying up, you see it over here. In the past five years, they added 683.31 tons so if we multiply 683.31 okay guys 633 633.81 times 64 million 300,000 so they basically spent, pay attention to this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They spent $40.7 billion within the past five years alone, as you guys can see, just buying up 683.31 tons of gold, which each ton of gold calculating to the amount of $64,300,000. As you guys can see it here, $64,300,000. And this is all approximate numbers. Of course, they're a country, so they do get a little bit of deduction, especially when they buy in bulk. We're not taking that into consideration. But we can still see the amount of gold being bought up. So out of nowhere, 474.81 tons. And don't forget, this 0.81 is also worth a lot of money. It's close to being 64. It's around 81. So if one is worth 64.3, this is probably around 50, 50 million, 48 million dollars. Tons were bought in 2017 and 2018 alone, okay guys? For basically two years, they bought 474.81 tons of gold. Overall, the country has added more than 1,900 tons of gold since 2005. Russian gold reserve constitute around one-fifth of this total reserve and is roughly equivalent to $140 billion during Quarter one of 2022, which we just started, which we're about to end. We have about two weeks left. There has been no fresh purchase or sale from its gold reserves. Russia is currently has the fifth largest or the fifth highest gold holding among nations globally. 
Amid the rise of demand for gold by household, the central bank announced its decision to buy gold from credit institutions at a negotiated price to manage the demand and supply of gold more effectively. As I told you guys, they do get a benefit of buying it at a negotiated price. But still, it's worth a lot of money. It's not pennies on the dollar. This is gold we're talking about. Another interesting fact. Right, guys, we know the BRICS nation, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, and the plus for any other countries that are joining them, but these are the top tier five nations that are involved within the BRICS economic or world global domination to their extent that they're pursuing. Isn't it interesting that this article stated which nations have been buying up gold? And if we scroll down, we see Russia. Okay, wait, wait a second, wait a second, pay attention. Who's the third one? India. Oh, okay. And who's number five? China, to all the surprise, all three of the BRICS nation without the two, without Brazil and South Africa, and these are the top tier three that are involved within the BRICS nation are basically the top five ranked in buying gold. Very, very interesting. Did they come up with this idea saying we need to get the gold reserve higher and higher in our countries so we can back our currencies with gold and then continue the devaluation and then the beating up the dollar and the petrodollar, getting rid of that and then starting the BRICS alliance and then their own CBDC agenda. Very, very interesting that all three of the major countries involved in the BRICS nation have been buying up gold unstoppably. Please pay attention, guys. Always stay vigilant. There are reasons behind this. And is Russia or is the Russian ruble linked to gold? From April 8, 2022, the purchase of gold by the Bank of Russia will be carried out at a negotiated price, which we just read. The link was se severed from the get-go. Several gold analysts, however, report or still report the ruble is linked to gold, suggesting the Russians have gone on a semi-gold standard. But they said over here, Russia has just linked the ruble to gold at a rate of 5,000 rubles to one gram of gold. This is false. I know because CDR disclosed on their website and continues on to say at a rate of 5,000 rubles to one gram of gold, not linked to ruble to gold. But I, I myself believe that the Russian ruble is linked to gold and maybe backed by gold currently to a certain extent, like they said here, semi gold standard backed. But they are pushing the limits of their currencies and their countries. And you see the top tier three countries that are involved in the BRICS nation to purchase up the gold reserve in the whole world and then tie it up together and then make one BRICS alliance, which they already formed, and then make a central, digital, central bank digital currency and then unite all the countries together that are involved in this and then continue and pursue on what they have to do. This has some reasons because of the NATO which none of these countries are involved in, they are basically making NATO's military alliance. This is system systematically placed as an economic alliance. But is it truly an economic alliance? Yes, it is. But what's up behind the current agenda? It's more than economic agenda. That's what you have to pay attention to. And now we can see the Russian gold reserves, and we can see it in the chart. Let's just take a look at the three years quickly with the bar graphs. January 2020, 2,271.16 ounce of gold. Tons of gold, not ounces. <laughs> and then we guys can see here, it just keeps growing and growing. We got to 2,301.64 on Russian gold reserve. Then we decreased down a little bit, a little bit suspicious over here, over here. But hey, look at the max. In 2000, they had less than 500 tons of gold. And now they are basically over triple that amount with 2,298.53 tons of gold. And this is the difference between gold and cryptocurrency such as XRP. XRP is backed by gold, and then XLM is backed by silver. But we're paying attention to XRP, which is backed by gold. It doesn't take a lot to move around. You're not carrying tons and tons of gold, which they don't even carry. They push on a cart. <coughs> Excuse me. They push on a cart and continue on their journey with crazy military-backed uh, places, such as the Fort Knox in the United States, for example. And they have to make sure it's guarded heavily to make sure that no, of course, no civilian is not going to enter. But if any other country was to invade, they're not touching that at all. They're not touching it. That's the last thing they're giving up. 
So, in a different world, which is cryptocurrencies, you can literally have it on Ledger, you can have it on different cold storages, and then you don't even have to carry something heavy, you can still transfer it. That's the reason XRP was created. So why the BRICS? Why the BRICS block will play a crucial global economic role in 2023? We just have a couple sentences to read. China is a clear... Whoa, okay, pay attention. <laughs> What's going on? China is the clear economic powerhouse of the BRICS nation. We all know that. Okay, guys, the second is Briz uh, the second is Russia and the third is India. But what does what do we see over here? Number one is Russia buying up all the gold. And one of the most significant objectives the BRICS nations appear to be working on achieving is a shift away from the reliance on the gold or on the United States dollar, and reliance more on what on the gold. Backed currencies. The same thing with Jasara and Nasara. What's coming to the United States and other countries? Gold backed currency, gold backed United States dollar. But this time it's not going to be the dollar you see. It's going to be the United States digital bank currency or central bank digital currency backed by gold. And then it's not going to be on your fingertips. It's going to be basically on your fingertips, but you're not going to be carrying it like a fiat currency. Then we come down and read this last thing over here. Earlier in November, saw gas rich Algeria formally apply to join the BRICS coalition. Further emphasizing the potential magnitude of the bloc's energy interest, Algeria would definitely like to join BRICS nation. The question is whether we will be accepted, they said, because there are certain obligations. We need to bring some of the legislative acts to a common standard, quote unquote. The governor of the country's capital, Algeria's Mohamed Abdenur Rebihi, told Sputnik in earlier December. Algeria, you see here, it says a gas which Algeria formed to apply to the BRICS nation. Algeria is nothing to be played with, guys. They have gas at the end of the day. And now we're taking a look at the last thing Egypt has joined, the BRICS de-dollarization campaign. Okay, countries joining left and right. What else are we missing here? We see the bigger picture. We see the bigger play. I'm here to put it all together and present it to you in a nice informative pack video in a nice informative way you can understand it easily so you can make decisions based off the information you have received. By that being said, guys, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys for always supporting me. Let's get this channel popping so everybody can truly understand what's true What's the true what's the true agenda behind the ISO 222 tokens? What the BRICS agenda is, what the Jasara Nasara agenda is, what everything is going on in the world. Pay attention to the details. By that being said, guys, I'm Crypto UL with UL Exchange. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. God bless. Peace out.